You don't know Jack, and that's okay, because he's our 2019 Mustang that happens to look like a pumpkin. Jack-o-lantern, get it? Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to make a scary amount of horsepower with just a small amount of boost. And you're gonna be thinking, oh my gourd, how do I trick or treat myself to a thousand horsepower? Well, keep watching this video and I'm gonna show you how. What if I told you that scary amount of horsepower can be done on only 8,400 bones? Yeah, it's gotta be like the cheapest way to make this happen. So, the list of how we did it is short. P1X tuner kit, fuel system, some good gas, and that's it. Literally, stock motor, stock exhaust, stock rear end, stock axle, stock tires, stock whatever. I don't even think this car's got window tint. Blower kit, fuel system, tune, good gas. You got it, people. Now let's slap a pulley on this thing and put it on the dyno. Okay, before the internet questions, the fact that I said stock exhaust, I mean it. Those are uh, stock manifolds, cats, and roll back here. Yep, that's a stock resonator and stock mufflers way back there. You just can't see them because it's dark under here. Old Jack deserves some exhaust. Maybe someday we'll get it for him. Whoop, pause the tape. I just gotta be frank with you. I threw out a number of 8,400 bucks cause that's kind of what I was guessing street value of a Procharger kit and the fuel system that we put together is. Now, do not blow up my PM box if you spend 500 bucks more or 200 bucks more, 100 bucks more. Point being, if you want a P1X system and a fuel system, reach out to a Procharger dealer and I guarantee they can get you locked in and ready to rip whether you wanna install that yourself or have them install it. So, now that that's out of the way, back to the video. Now you internet detectives out there are gonna know that Jack is already a little bit famous. He's been to streetcar takeover events, he's even been on TV. That is absolutely incredible. Down at Engine Power in Tennessee, Jack laid down like 937, exactly the way it is. We haven't changed anything. All we did is put the pulley back on it to make low boost, and we've driven it for 6,000 miles since then. So I dug in the trunk, found the old pulley, I'm gonna slap it back on the P1X, and we're gonna see what this thing makes in Kansas. So I'm hoping for over 900 to the tire. That'll make me happy. So let's do it. For those that don't believe me about the daily driving thing, witness the dirt from it already snowing in Kansas. Boo. A couple people asked me, why are we always dynoing on this uh, dyno jet? Well, the thing is here at Procharger, we actually have two different dynos. We have a Mustang dyno and we have a dyno jet. Now I know people like to play those two against each other all the time. We actually test all the time back and forth and the two dynos read within five horsepower of each other. So frankly, that could be the difference of the temperature of the engine or, or whatever. The only reason why I like using the dyno jet is because it's above ground and it makes it a lot easier to strap it down. Before we go any further, I wanna let you guys know what fuel it's on. We're actually gonna use 110 octane. I really wanted to use E85, but uh, this was kind of a last minute idea and there's no E85 here in the building. We had 110, so that's what we're gonna use. See what happens. You use whatever you wanna use. That was the best part of my job, making horsepower. Nothing better than that. I keep thinking of these tips and I wanna get them out. So if you're on the dyno or you're at the track or you're racing or whatever, don't just turn off the traction control if you want all of the HPs. That noise right there, that ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, that means I have disabled the stability track. The way you do that is you hold the button down, the traction control button, 
and you keep holding it until it says that you've disabled Stabilitrack. Then you get everything that it wants. So now that we got that said, let's floor it. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the dino stick. <laughs> but what Jack did do is exactly what I told you it would do. It laid down dumb, scary horsepower. So we only did one dino pull. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Multiple camera angles, super fun. 893 in SAE correction. Now, the internet likes to argue about SAE correction, STD correction. Whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna show you both numbers because it takes like two clicks. 893 is more than enough to be a thousand to the crank. Let me switch it over real quick to... 905, cool. 905 in STD, 893 in SAE. Now, I said a thousand to the crank. Here's how I'm coming up with that. This Mustang, people think it's got like 15% drivetrain loss. I'm saying it's less than that. It's actually more like 13%. So we'll take 893, the lower power of the two, multiply that by 13%. Boom, thousand, thousand nine to the tire. Obviously, if I did the 905 number, that'd be even more. And obviously, if I took the internet's 15% or whatever they think the drivetrain loss is on this, even more. Either way, that's a thousand crankshaft horsepower for 8,500 bones. Yeah, that's hopefully my last pun. And that's awesome. So if you wanna see more stuff like this or you wanna make one of these yourself, drop us a call. Like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna do burnouts. Right, Johnny? Yes. Probably not gonna film that, but we're gonna go do it.